Welcome back to the video. In this video, we are going to see some of the most important useful clauses A that we used in SQL. So that is group by, having and order by. In the previous video, we saw about how we can aggregate the data and we can get the result by doing aggregation like we saw about some average, minimum and maximum. In that video, we saw about that aggregated function will give the answer in for one column a single output. If I want to aggregate a data based on some category, how can I do that? In that case, that group by function come into picture. By using group by clause, we can group the data and we can get aggregate result by combining it with the aggregate function. Let's see one by one what is this group by having an order by and how we can use that in a SQL query while retrieving the data. So move on to the first one, the group by. The group by is used to categorize the row with similar values in specified column, creating a groups or categories. The group by is basically used to group the data. If I have the column with a categorical nature, I can group it and I can get the result of any column like a sum of a sales by region. So in this region and the sales, the region is categorical data and the sales is numerical data. If I want to get aggregate data by region, I can use the group by and the aggregate function together. The use cases of group by function, for example, group the sales data by product category to see the total sale for each category. In this, I am categorizing, I am grouping the product category and summing the total sale for each category. So let's see practically how we can use the very basic one, how we can use the group by function. So for this purpose, I will use this honey production data. So here we can see that the table have this many columns, like it have state, number of colony, yield per colony, total production, like that, year. Here I can see that the state and the year can be considered as a categorical column because I can categorize the data based on state or based on year. Let's see how we can use the group by. Here I can, I have the product, product value as a numerical. So I will use. So if I want the honey production, here I can see the columns. If I want group by state and get the total production by state, how I can do that? by using group by and aggregate function i will select i will select that states states and the production value this two column from this honey production table if I get this two column, let's see what will we get first. Then we apply the group by function. Here I can see that 785 rows has came. So it has the 785 rows in total. So it gives the, all the result. But the, in the state column, I can see that the state's name is repeated because it have the states in a yearly manner. So it repeated. If I want to group it to the state, so in the totally I have 44 unique state. If I want to group it, group the state and get the total production per state, how I can do that by using group by function. In that case, I will just use group by here. Group by, I want to give the name of that column on which I want to group by. So I want to group by on state. If I group by, if I use group by, I also need to use the aggregate function because if I just use group by, it won't give the result. It will give the error. So in order to get the output correctly, I need to use the aggregate function, any aggregate function. Like if I use sum of production, sum of production value and group it by state, if I get the result, it will give the correct output showing my result so here i can see the 44 rows has, has came because in total i have the 44 state so it group the data so group by function always get unique category 
like unique states has came and for each state it combine the all the value related that state which is available in this table and get the sum of the total production value like that i can use any other aggregate function also like the average if i use average it will give the average of the production value per state if i use the minimum i can also use the minimum to get the minimum per state and i, I can also use the maximum to get the maximum per state so this is how i can use the group by function to group the data and get the output so always remember group by always use it with a aggregate function so this is about a group by function then the another thing we have like uh, having having means uh, when we use a uh, filter the data in the normal case we filter the data by using where clause and giving the condition so if i want to give the condition to the aggregated value then that having clause came into picture because having clause used to filter the data on this aggregated data if i want to give any condition to this aggregated data if i want to get the record or the result based on the condition put on this aggregated data then i need to use that having function so here we can see that having is used to filter the groups created by the group by clause based on the specific condition uh, the use case is show product category with a total sale above certain threshold means here i got i will copy the same code uh, the sum or the let's say average yeah i got the same and i will copy this code and i will paste it over here in the having clause and we will use that same example so here i can see that by using this query i will get the total average production per state if i want to get a filter if i want just want a average production more than i want i only want to get a result which have the average sales more than 50 lakh what can i do or the 40 lakh 20 lakh what can i do if the normal if it is normal column i can give it a where clause to filter the data here i have the aggregated data so if i want any filtration on aggregated data i need to use having and always remember having comes after group by so there is the order to write a query like select from where clause and group by then after we use having clause so having clause to use having clause i can give the alias to the second column so i will use aggregate prod so i can use this i can use this column that the average production and i can use that and i can filter that so let's say greater than 20 lakh if i use greater than 20 lakh here i can see i got 22 rows previously in total i have 44 rows and i filter based on the having based on the average production greater than 20 lakh so this is how i can give some filtration by using having clause always if i want to give a filtration based on the calculated or aggregated data i need to use having clause so this is the use of having clause by using having clause we can filter out the aggregated data then in the third we have order by clause so order by is used to sort the result set either in ascending or descending order based on one or more columns so if i want to order the data so here i can see that i got a result of the average production if i want to order that average production in ascending or in a descending then i can i have to use that order by clause to order the data in a certain order so it sort for example sort the product category by total sales in a descending order to highlight the top performing category in the first so if i want to get like i will use the same code whatever i used so and i will get the result over here so this will give the state wise average production if i want the maximum average production so i want to order it so i will use the order clause order by 
the I will give the alias to use average production and I will use in the order by that column that is second column so average production order by average production I want to use in a if I get in a descending order I have to use that keyword DESC and put semicolon and get the result here I can see the first have the maximum average production and the second one follows the less than this this is how I can order in ascending order if I want to a descending order if I want to get it in a ascending order I just need to give the ascending over here and get the result here I can see that the first row showing the minimum average production so here I can see this is minimum after that it increasing slightly increasing so this is how I can order the result in the order class we have another one and that is that one is limit so if I want to get the bottom 5 I have to give the limit is 5 then it will give the bottom 5 because it, I have the ascending order here if I give the descending here it will give the top 5 so here I can see the top 5 states with the average maximum average production like here you can see slightly decreasing so this is how I can get the order and limit to the 5 I can get the top 5 states that have average maximum average production so this is how I can use the group by to group the data and I can use the having to filter the data filter the category or the filter on the aggregated data and order by is used to get the result in a certain order whether it's a ascending or descending we need to specify the column on which we need to apply that clause then we can get the result in a order and a limit is used to get a limit of row which we want if i use descending and limit to 5 it will give the top 5 if i use descending and limit to 5 it will give the bottom 5 so this is how i can use these three clauses so thank you for watching stay tuned for the next video thank you